working on something unrelated to this video, but uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to unstick this rotor. This rotor is stuck to the hub here, and I'm going to uh, rectify that. So I'm going to take the whole assembly off. I'm going to take off the dust cap, and I'm going to loosen the uh, screw that's holding on the hub here. this guy off, take that off, pop off the outer bearing, take the whole assembly off, and we'll go get it loose. Well, first thing I'm going to do is take this uh, set screw out. Normally, when this is doing right, you just take this screw out and then the uh, rotor just comes off the hub. But in my case, they're stuck together. So the rotor has through holes. The screws for the bolts are in the hub. So I'm going to plug the holes that are in the hub. And I'm going to spray around these and then the penetrant is going to go between the hub and the rotor. And I'll also spray the back, but really it's stuck right here. That's where it's stuck is around the center here. But I'm still going to spray everything down. So I'm going to take my penetrating oil. I'm going to spray all in here. There's like through holes in here and all around the edge of the hub. Let that start soaking. And I'll turn it over and I'll spray this side around each bolt and especially here in the middle. So I'll get spraying. Let that set up for a while. All right, I've let it soak for a while. It's been about 15 minutes, and if you were replacing the rotors, you have a new set, you could probably use like a metal hammer. Uh, but since I'm just trying to get this unstuck, I'm going to use the rubber end of this heavy mallet. There it is, it's off. stuck right in here so now I'm going to clean this up I'm gonna wire brush it get it all nice and clean then when I reassemble it I'm going to put a coating of anti seize around here where all this rusty crap is and then we'll reassemble it here's the hub after I brushed it off with a wire wheel uh, the wire wheel was uh, attached to a bench grinder by the way I didn't do it by hand. So there it is all cleaned up. I don't know if you can see the edge. It's all nice and pitted there but you can see with a bearing surface. So I'm gonna put just a little dab of anti-seize around there so it won't happen again. All right, now for the uh, reassembly, since I just replaced the wheel bearings, I just need to make sure everything is reassembled correctly. So, put the uh, parts back on there. Remember the uh, 
The machine side kind of looks like a washer machined on the one side goes against the bearing. So we'll just kind of put that guy on there. And this video is going to be a combination of the passenger side and the driver's side. So. Just get that gluten tight by hand. We'll get my five millimeter. Tighten that guy back down. Put a little very thin coating of anti-seize around here and put my rotor back on. So here's my unstuck rotor. I'm going to uh, clean off the back side, make sure there's no um, liquid wrench on there. Alright, and then I'll put this back on and then I'll clean the front side again after it's on. So I have my alignment screw at the top and that's how I'll set it in place. And then with that little bit of anti-seize on, as promised, we'll just put this guy right back here. Start my little alignment screw here. Cleaning and we're done.